Hi, my name is Casey. I'm a trainer, advocate, good shepherd. Here's a workout you can do at home with minimal weights or just body weights. Uh, if you have weights, awesome. If not, body weight works as well. Uh, if you don't have weights, just make sure to cut back on your rest time. Um, if you cut back on your rest time, it will keep your heart rate higher, making it more, more of a challenge. Uh, if you were to have weights, make sure you don't uh, use too much weight on the very first set, blowing yourself out for the rest of the workout. Our main goal is to get through this workout two or three times. We'll start out with workout number one and then progress to eight. Before you repeat any workout, make sure you do each one one time. Once you do, rinse and repeat and go through each one two or three times, or as many as you can in an hour to 40 minutes. Uh, I do have progressive workouts on here in terms of from easiest to hardest. So let's say the first time you're unaware of what to do, start with the easiest, the next time through go harder, and the third time through go hardest. Or pick a level that you're comfortable with from uh, the first time through and try and progress through with either weights or try and do more reps and less rest time. Best of luck. I hope to get, uh, see you guys soon at the club. So our first movement will be our hip openers. This would be for hip mobility and hip flexibility. So first we're gonna do is go into a high plank. Uh, we're gonna have, make sure we have our hands under our shoulders. Make sure they're not too far forward or too far back. Right under your shoulders, have your scapula set. We're going to do a high plank. We're gonna bring our right leg to our right hand. Uh, place our foot flat, toe facing the wall. We're gonna push our left toe in the ground, right heel into the ground, and have a good stretch, nice tall chest. Make sure that back leg does not bow down towards the floor, knees off the ground. We're gonna come back, inhale, with that exhale, left foot, same thing. Push the heel into the ground, right toe in the ground. We're gonna nice sit in that stretch and breathe. Make sure to settle in and make that hip relax. Open them up for our workouts. Now we'll do a total of eight to 10 per side for our very first motion. Keep on breathing and make sure to keep on stretching. Next up will be our uh, dragonflies. A little more dynamic here. Mobility in the thoracic spine, hips, and lower back. So, same idea. We're going to put our right foot into the ground. Our, make sure your knee is behind your toe. Don't want to be over your toe. We're going to have our left arm planted into the ground. We're going to pike our left leg up. Make sure that left leg stays up. Does not want to fall to the ground. And make sure the front knee does not want to move back and forth. Keep that toe, uh, sorry, that knee in alignment with your toe. We're going to come up. Nice tall chest, nice tight core. We're going to exhale. Our main goal is to get our right arm in line with the left arm. We're going to exhale, go up, follow your hand to the ceiling. We'll come back down, inhale, exhale, reach up. Now make sure to keep that heel in the ground for your right foot and left toe also down. We don't want to lean into it and have that knee go out and that toe fall. Make sure to have that uh, the knee straight, leg straight, and exhale. Now, to make this more dynamic, we can go back into our plank. We can change sides, right hand into the ground, exhale, left arm up, we'll come back down, inhale, we'll change legs, exhale, inhale, way down. We'll alternate each, each leg uh, eight to 10 times. A little more dynamic here, a little more cardiovascular with, with uh, movements. Up next to warm up, we we'll use our bird dogs. So we'll go into a, uh, Four point stance, we'll have our knees and hands on, on the ground. Again, have your hands under your shoulders, not too far forward. We'll have our, we're gonna alternate sides. So we're gonna go with our right to left hand. We're gonna go thumb up towards the ceiling, that back leg straight. We'll squeeze in the glutes and then the shoulders. We'll then alternate sides, same idea. Make sure that back leg gets straight, the front arm goes forward. Don't wanna extend past your joints. Don't wanna go too far up and arch your back. If you can't keep that back, that back flat. So exhale, we'll extend, inhale, exhale, extend, inhale. More of a challenge, a little more core work will be a plank limb extension. So we'll go into a low plank, elbows are underneath our shoulders. We're gonna start off with our heels first. So we'll go uh, raise heel, exhale, down, exhale, down. We'll then go hands, exhale, exhale, We'll then repeat, right leg, left leg, left arm, right arm. And again, same idea, don't overarch your back. Make sure to keep your, your back and lower back flat. You shouldn't feel any pain or pinching in your lower back or upper back. Our most challenging will be a upward bird dog. So it'll be an upward plank stance. We'll go back to a push-up stance. 
Same idea as the first motion, we're gonna alternate sides. So, left, right leg, left arm, we'll hold, right leg, left arm, hold, and the thumb to the ceiling. Again, don't overextend. Do not have your back pinch or have any pain in your lower back. Next, we'll do our shoulder taps. A little more shoulder mobility here. More we'll up the shoulders for our workouts as well as core and lower back too. So we'll go into a upward uh, plank first. So back to a plank. We're going to come back up. Again, hands under your shoulders. Uh, make sure you're not arching your back. Nice flat back. We're going to come back up to a plank stance. We're then going to reach our right hand to our left shoulder and then back down. We'll then change sides. So we're going to inhale on the way down, exhale back up. Now more of a challenge, you can always have a wider stance, a little bit easier, more narrow stance, more of a challenge. Smaller the base, the bigger the challenge. We'll do a total of 10 to 12 taps per, uh, per side before we move on to the next exercise. Next up will be our tricep up-down planks. So we'll start in a lower plank. Now with this one, make sure either you alternate sides, left, right, left, right, or do all your reps on one side first and the other side. So meaning, whichever side goes up first goes down first. That's gonna be one complete rep. So we'll start on our low plank, elbows under our shoulders, we're going to go left arm into a uh, tricep up, left arm back down. Right arm up, right arm down. Left arm up, left arm down. Right arm up, right arm down. Now, we don't want to make sure we're not rocking back and forth. Try and keep your chest and hips square to, to the floor. A uh, total of 10 to 12 per arm there. Lastly, we will do our tricep push-ups. Uh, in terms of a plank. So this is more of a challenging movement. If you have any low back problems, it might not be the uh, exercise for you. So we'll go back to a low plank. We'll have our hands flat on the, uh, on the mat. We'll come back up, chest forward, elbows underneath our shoulders. We'll push up and do a tricep extension. We'll then come back down. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. The further the hands are out, the more of a challenge it is. It's a lot more core to keep your body flat. Be a total of eight to 15 range there. And inhale down, exhale back up. Next, we'll do our lunge progressions here. So this can be added weight or just body weight. Our very first will be a stationary lunge. We'll go back into a lunge stance, either leg forward. Now make sure again, you have your knee behind your toe. We wanna to have our knee over our toe. That's bad for the knee itself. So make sure the knees behind the toe, pushing through, through your heel. We'll come back up, we'll start up. Nice tall chest, again weights are at our side or at our chest. We'll come back, we'll go as far down as 90 degrees at the knee. Ex inhale down, exhale back up. That'll be the easiest motion uh, in this lunge circuit. To make it more of a challenge, we can do a step back lunge. So we'll step back into a knee drive. Again, weight can be either on the same side as the leg that's moving or stationary. The leg that's moving will be a lot more core, trying to stabilize your weight left and right. So we'll come back. We're going to our movements here. I have the weight in my left in my left hand. I'm going to step backwards. Either weight at her side or up in the air. I will then knee drive and then come back down. Knee drive, back down. A little more balance, a little more stability for the ankle. The next one will be our jump lunges. So more of a, more of a challenge here. So more cardiovascular, more and more balance too. So we'll start back into a lunge stance. Same as earlier. We'll start low, just before your knee hits, hit, uh, hits the ground. Alternate arms to, uh, to legs. So, right leg to left arm. Up and switch, 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 switch. Make sure your knee does not touch the ground. More of a challenge there would be to start either equidistant to e either side. So I'm gonna start with the length of, of the mat here. So I'm gonna go back into my lunge. I'm gonna lunge while moving. So I'm gonna go sideways, each motion, I'm gonna move. Once you get the other side, make sure you do the exact same movements going back as well too. Next will be our push-up circuit. So the easiest motion here we'll work on is our, our knee push-ups. So we'll come back and do a push-up stance. We'll have our, again, our hands under our shoulders, uh, shoulders set in their sockets. We're going to have our knees further back, so we're just not on the, ball, uh, on the uh, knee itself, but just on the uh, quad, just over the knee. We're then going to have a nice tall chest, elbows stay at 45 degrees, we're hugging the side of the body, 
We'll inhale just to 90 degrees and exhale back up. This would be more of the easier part there. Uh, if you want to go more of a challenge, if you're close to doing a push up but not quite there, they're called push up negatives. So we'll start in a high push up stance, same hand placements. You're going to come down in a 3 2 1 count. So three, two, one, to the ground, knees around the ground, I'll then push back up. Three, two, one, knees on the ground, push back up into a push up. Three, two, one, back up. And both of those will aim for a total of eight to 12 reps. Obviously, a push up, same exact stance as a negative push up, hands under our shoulders, elbows at a 45 degree angle, bring our thumbs down to our chest, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We'll go for a total again of eight to 12, to 12 range there. You can start harder if you want with the harder push up and then work back down for more reps. The hardest one here will be a one leg push up. So we'll come back into our stance. Similar to our plank extensions, we're gonna raise our leg off the ground. Same hand placement. We're going to raise one heel off the ground, hold, squeeze the glutes. We'll come down, inhale, exhale. We'll then change sides, toe on the ground, inhale, exhale. Make sure that leg's nice and tall, keep that back flat. This one here, I would say maybe five to 10 push-ups per leg. But again, you can always progress down to get more and more reps per push-up. This here will work on our glute bridges. If you have a band, you can do both, uh, both feet, you can put it just uh, above your knees or below your knees for more of a challenge. The band's gonna wanna pull your legs together. You need to push your legs back out to work more of the glutes. So we'll come back, we'll lay back down. Like a sit up, we wanna have our knees at 90. Heels are in the ground. Now with these arms here, they should be at 45 degree angles. We wanna have our elbows pushed in, into the ground. Make sure our traps are and our scapulas are set. We wanna make sure we're not rounded it takes away from the lower back and glute activation. So we wanna come back, 45, elbows pushed in, scapula together, we're gonna to push off our heels. You should be able to look at uh, look your toes. We're gonna to come back up, glute bridge, it should be straight all the way up through into here. Push elbows in the ground, inhale down, exhale back up. You wanna squeeze through the hamstrings and the glutes, push through the heels. We'll go for a total of that 15 to 12 range. More of a challenge, if you have a band on, take the band off. We're gonna work on a one leg glute bridge. Now there's two versions you can do. You can have your leg go towards the ceiling or your leg go back out. You can have one leg planted, one towards the ceiling, elbows in the ground, a little more st uh, stable. We'll push the heel in the ground, try and push that foot to the, to the ceiling. Inhale down, exhale back up. Now, if you want to have a little more of a challenge, we're gonna wait on the bottom half of your body We'll keep this leg straight as if it were just going up to extend. So I'm gonna go from here, keep this leg there. I'll push off, hands, and come back down. Inhale down, exhale back up, push off that heel. Again, goal I would say per, per side there, try for that 10 to 12 range, 15 max. Next will be our squats. Uh, we're going to a basic squat first. We wanna make sure we have our um, feet even with our shoulders or a little bit wider. I uh, want to have our toes slightly out, pointing to, uh, to the side. Don't want to be too exaggerated. You always want to have your uh, knees follow your toes in the uh, direction you're squatting. So if I have my feet out to the side, my knees should not travel inward outside my toes. If I go too far out, I can't squat that far and get down low enough, my knees fall back in. So make sure your, your toes are following a natural squat stance. We're going to come back into our squat. Again, you can add weight here if you need to either at your chest or at your side. We'll have the weight if you need it. If not, body weight. We'll come back up. Hips engaged to where you're looking. We want to make sure you have a nice tall chest. We're going to come back down to 90 degrees and then back up. Now, a very common mistake or weakness in the body is the knees want to cave in as you push up. So as you get down into the hole of the squat, we'll inhale. Before you push up, force your knees outward. Try and push yourself back up to, uh, to the top of the squat. Try to come down. Inhale, knees go out to squeeze back up. Should feel more in the glutes and more in the quads. We're gonna come, we're gonna do a total of 15 to 20, or as many as you can in 30 seconds. 
more of a progressive squat in terms of more of a challenge cardiovascularly. Again, weight at your side or at your chest. Simmons X squat stance. I'm gonna have the weights at my chest here. Inhale down, exhale back up. The goal here is to make sure we don't move around too far. Forward, backward, left or right. Try and stay in the same spot each time. And when you land after the jump, do not lock your knees out. We should always have a soft bend in the knees to keep on going. So I'm gonna come back down into my squats. I'll inhale down, exhale up. Try and keep landing in the exact same spot. Again, push the knees outward. Try and force yourself back up through your, through your glutes. Lastly, we'll work on our oblique movements. So, the very first motion we can do is the easiest part of the, uh, of the oblique planks. As we'll come back, now make sure I see a lot of mistakes here. Uh, people have the arms way too far out or way too close or the arm is twisting. Make sure to have your arm at 90 degrees and you have your elbow under your, under your shoulder. This is great for the serratus and the lats. If you're caving in, you're gonna to want to shrug, put a lot of pressure on your spine in areas where the weight should not be. So we're gonna come back into our plank stance here. Now, if you want to uh, progress from easiest to hardest, we can go from here and lift up, keeping the knees on, on the ground. If you're squeezing through our obliques to keep yourself up, you can hold there for a time frame or come back down. That's one, two, and so on and so forth. Now, more of a traditional uh, oblique plank will be feet out. Feet on top of each other. Again, I see everybody wants to roll forward or have one foot uh, or, uh, off the uh, other. Feet should stay together. Nice, tall chest. We're going to come back. Lift up and hold, keep this as flat as possible. That's gonna be our oblique. Now again, if I were to go further out this way, that's not as comfortable, it's a lot of pressure on my shoulder. Put it underneath your shoulder, engage the lats and serratus, lift up and then hold. Again, either hold here, you can go down and back up, inhale down, exhale back up, or just hold for a set time frame. I would say 10 to 15 reps there per side. Uh, more of a challenge would be an oblique crunch. So we'll come back, exact same stance as the high oblique crunch. We'll come back, we're going to lift up off the ground, up overhead, keep the hips high. We're going to exhale, bring our elbow to our knee, and hold, and back, hold, and back. Think of a crunch you would do on the ground as well too. The inhale, exhale. We'll try for a total of 8 to 10 there. Again, you can always go from easiest to hardest, or from hardest to easiest. So you can go from harder to add more reps as you get easier.